student, welcome to the project output finals for the subject of calculus. So for this video, it has three sets, which is the set B, set C, and set D. The set B is the, is the trigonometric function, then the set C is the exponential and logarithmic function, and the last one is the set D, which is the hyperbolic function and inverse hyperbolic function so let's start with the set b our given is y is equal to 1 plus sine times x raised to 2 all over raised to 1 half so for this given the first step we're gonna do is to take the derivative, which is the y1 is equal to d over dx times 1 plus sine times x raised to 2 all over raised to 1 half. Using the differentiation, using the differentiation rules, we will get the we will get the y prime is equal to d over dg times g raised to one half times d over dx times one plus sine x raised to two. Need to differentiate. It will give the answer y prime is equal to one half g raised to negative one half times two sine x cosine x. Then we'll substitute it back. Y prime is equal to one half times one plus sine x squared all over raised to negative one half times two sine x cosine x. So, the answer will be y prime is equal to sine x cos x over square root of 1 plus sine x squared. So, the set B is done. We're gonna go to set C. The given for set C is Y is equal to X plus 2 raised to X minus E raised to X plus 2 raised to X. So the first step is take the take the derivative again. So it will give the answer y prime is equal to d over dx x times x plus two raised to x minus e raised to x plus two raised to x. So using the differentiation rules we'll get the y prime is equal to d over dx times x plus 2 raised to x minus d over dx times e raised to x plus 2 raised to x. So we need to differ differentiate it. y prime is equal to e in e raised to in times x plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 2 times x plus in plus x plus 2 minus e raised to x plus 2 raised to x times e raised to in x plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 2 
times x plus in times x plus 2. So, we'll simplify that and the answer you'll get is x plus times x plus 2 times in x plus 2 times x plus 2 raised to x minus e raised to x plus 2 raised to x times x plus 2 raised to x all over x plus 2. So, we are done in the set C. So, after that, we're going to set D. The given for set D is x is equal to E raised to negative y times sine sine The given for set D is x is equal to E raised to negative y times sine open parenthesis cotangent times T all over times T raised to negative 1. So treat T as a constant and differentiate. So it will give the Tx over dy is equal to d over dy e minus e raised to negative y times sine cotangent times t raised to negative 1. So we will transform we will transform the expression dx dy is equal to d over dy e raised to negative y times sine e, e raised to t plus e raised to negative t all over e raised to t negative e raised to negative t raised over that raised to negative 1 So we will the, we will order the terms. So this will the the answer when we order the terms. So using the differentiation rules, we will get the dx dy is equal to sine e raised to t plus e raised to negative t all over e raised to t minus e raised to negative t raised to negative 1 times d over dg open parenthesis dg goes times d over dy Open parenthesis negative y. Tx over ty is equal to sine. Open parenthesis sine times e raised to t plus e raised to negative t all over e times t negative e raised to negative t raised to negative 1 times e g e raised to g times negative 1 so we will substitute the it's just the same but the g will be the negative y so the answer for that is dx dy is equal to negative 1 all over sine times e 
raised to 2t plus 1 all, all over e raised to 2t minus 1 times e y. So, thank you for watching.